What's going on YouTube? This is Dreader Plug coming at you guys with some more technical heat and in these upcoming videos I'm about to jump back into my whole interview process. This is season two Definitely go check out all my other interviews that I had just did of other friends of just different type of engineering different type of IT type of majors Definitely check out my previous interviews. Now I'm about to jump into a couple of new ones. I actually have a friend with me right now who's from East Africa. She came here to the US and she decided to actually take on the journey of being a computer engineer. Let's get into it. Hi, my name is Yorisala Moldu. I am a Jackson State University graduate. I studied computer engineering for my undergrad there. Uh, I am currently working as a project manager at a startup. Okay, so what made you want to jump into doing computer engineering out of all of the other engineering majors out there? So I chose computer engineering uh, because it's the middle ground for computer science and electrical engineering. Uh, while, you know, while in computer engineering, I can do both software and hardware. So it's the best of both worlds. Okay, so what do you feel is the biggest benefit when it comes down to being a computer engineer? So the biggest benefit being a computer engineer is that there's always a job security for you. Um, the other, the plus ones are, you know, computer is part of our day-to-day -day life right now. And also it gets to solve complex problems uh, and help out in the world. Okay, so what drew you into your side hustle? I know you said that you were super into day trading. You are right, Andre. I'm really into uh, day trading. Currently, I am working with options. I do stocks for long term, long term as well. Uh, this is one of the skills that I suggest you know anyone to learn. It's, it's super easy, simple. You just need to put the time, uh, and then you know be actually interested in it. So, you know, through time, you, you, there's like up and downs. You're not always making money. So you know, sometimes you're losing money, but once you become very good at it, it's just easy money. All right, so tell us about that transition from being in Ethiopia to coming to the States. There was a very, you know, interesting transit. Um, so I came here as a junior year of high school. Um, I came here into a boarding school. There was like a mini college experience that actually really helped going to college, you know, living in a dorm or being apart from family, it wasn't an issue for us. So um, after high school, I went to college in Jackson, uh, to Jackson State University. And people there were really nice. Uh, you know, I got mentors, a lot of friends. So it wasn't very hard, I wouldn't say it was hard, uh, but a very interesting experience. So you mentioned that you had your own startup and you're basically working on that. That's pretty much your full-time job. Can you elaborate on that a little bit more? Yeah, you're right. So uh, I'm working on a company called iSource Technology. So what we do is we provide IT services for startups, uh, small businesses and enterprises, or even on individual level. So we give website services, like we build website, we design websites, we develop mobile applications, both, you know, iOS and Android. Um, also, we have a digital marketing section where we help companies grow their customer bases. So as a successful, you know, computer engineering woman in the field, like what's some advice that you could give to people below you, people younger than you that's coming up and they're even striving to just take computer engineering classes and go through the whole degree plan? Just say like if it's a freshman that's watching right now, like what's some advice that you could give to them? So for whoever is watching, um, I will say you can do it. Uh, anyone can do it. Like I'm not even lying about that. Uh, right now, companies are not even requiring uh, a degree for you to be, you know, a coder. You can just take like three to six months uh, courses, and you can become a coder and then get hired at Google, Facebook, and all the big companies. So going through the four-year program is gonna give you the benefits of knowing more in a you know structured environment so that's one of the benefits so if you have four years to learn you're definitely going to be great at it yeah it's right there's not many women in the industry but you know if we don't you know join all you know come together and join it's always going to be less number so i suggest anyone to join and i highly suggest it to especially for women right because it's not a lot of us in the industry Okay, so Jerusalem, if these people want to actually, you know, contact you and get an app created, get a website created, because people ask me this 
all the time and I'm like, man, like I'm not a software person. I'm an electrical engineer. I don't know too much about making apps. But you know, you said that you have the ability to get apps and websites done. What's your information? What's your social media? Where can they find this information to get it done? Reach out to us anytime they want. I uh, will love to drive them. Uh, they can contact us through our website, which is www.icefoottechnology.com, or they can personally contact me at my Instagram, which is at this is Jer, T H I S J E R. Um, and yeah, we'll love to contact uh, them and build their website, web app, or mobile application for them. Okay, so walk me through the process. So let's say I have a friend, they want an app created, right? I go to you and I ask you, yo, your rules are my friend, they need an app made. What's the actual steps that happen? Or like what, what's something that's really common that happened through the whole process from start to finish? So the first step will be, we'll jump on like a quick call, which will be like a discovery call, like trying to find out what you actually want, what the app is about or the website is about, what's your budget, what's your deadline or the timeline you have. And then once you have that information, we'll have another call, which is called requirement gathering. So most people that contact us are not uh, technical. So we have to break down the technical to non-technical people. So that's one process. Once we have that, once we gather the requirements, we're going to go to design. Once we have the design, we're going to go to development and then we launch the website or the app. And that concludes this video. Don't forget to comment like and subscribe it really do help my channel when it comes down to the youtube algorithm if you guys have any questions regarding anything just hit me up on instagram hit me up on the gram at dre the plug one two three and then also go check out my other youtube channel this is actually my second channel my first one was called andre classic cuts i basically go in and give tutorials about all types of different haircuts I actually show people how to do different type of things with the clippers that has never been done. And I pretty much go into detail as to why certain things happen. So definitely go check out that channel. Besides that, be on the lookout for my next content that's dropping. Be on the lookout for it because it's coming real soon. And I'm out.